Okay, I said I was not going to blog, but there are several things I need to say. So I guess I do have to blog a little. I'll try to make it brief. Um, first off, YouTube is having real issues today with some database. I'm certain of it because there's all kinds of goofy things. None of my comments are getting posted. None of my views are being saved. I'm not getting my mail. The bulletins are not going out. Um, gee, just, you know, lots of things. Okay, so if that's still happening or if you have that happening to you, you know, I'm afraid to even upload this, to be honest. You know, I mean, is this data also going to the same server and yeah. So, but I would, uh, if you're having issues, I would definitely, you know, hit the help button up there in the corner. You know, on your profile page, the help is right over in the right hand corner. And you hit that, and then you, it brings you up another page. And then there is um, contact us. And then, you know, tell them, hey, things are amiss. Okay, uh, I wanted to tell. Uh, the real moon unit. I love that he's got it, that he's mobile. I love seeing him mobile. I really enjoy his videos. It's really, you know, an intelligent boy, clean, <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, just, you know, kind of a nifty guy to watch. I just, you know, it gives you a peek into other people's lives and uh, he seems to be intelligent and creative and I can hardly wait to see what he, you know, what kind of goofy stuff he comes up with. He seems like he has a really good sense of humor. But he mentioned in this latest one where he's out at Blockbuster, <laughs> he wanted to know some films. And so I'm a five person. Everything's always name five of this, name five of that. You know, five seems to be a good number for asking that, you know. And I have a list of questions I ask people. I'll tell you about that someday. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, here are five films that I would definitely recommend anybody and everybody watch if you have, you know, if you like movies. One is Little Big Man, Dustin Hoffman, excellent movie. My dog is being weird. Second, okay, I got him settled in my lap. I have a, you know, small chihuahua and he insists on being in my lap when I'm at the computer. He's, you know, all over me. Uh, I noticed I was greasy, as Little Loka says. Uh, that's because I use uh, cream at night on my face. And, oh well, whatever. After a Little Big Man is Electric Glide in Blue, and it stars that Beretta guy. What is his name? Had the murder thing. Anyway, a wonderful movie from the 70s. You know, it's, of course, you're going to see it a little bit dated, and there are some great movies from the 70s that give you a real glimpse into that time period. Uh, which, if you ever want to know, I'll tell you which ones during the 70s that are just, you know, a lot of fun to watch as far as sets and uh, just very nostalgic, you know, it's pretty funny. Uh, if you've never seen the Thin Man series, you should watch every one of them. The, the real light ones, you know, they get a little, but the first, like, four are, you know, a must-see if you're a movie buff, you must see the Thin Man series. Watch for little, uh, what is that called? Watch for little um, improv stuff between uh, William Powell and Myrna Loy. Oh my God, they were you know they were so good together, just hilariously uh, campy, you know. And. Uh, an art film that I always recommend to everybody who is into art film uh, is Kayana Scotzi. If you have never seen it, you must see it. Now, you have to be into art film. <laughs> I warn you. Um, it's just amazing. It's an amazing thing. And he did a whole series, and I've seen, of course, the whole series. I own the whole series on uh, DVD, but just the first one if you haven't ever seen it the first one and then you can also the DVD gives you insight into his thinking and the process of making that film which took like I think 10 years or something to make and uh, just it's an amazing piece amazing Kayana Scotsian this is the one time when 
I'll put the name down there because you have to spell it right. The other one is you must see La Cage à Faux, and you must see it in original French with subtitles. This is the movie that was redone in in Hollywood style, which you know it, they it was cute, but it was overproduced. You know, uh, you know, Birds of a Feather. I liked it, you know, I mean, I thought Robin Williams did a good job and all that, you know, but La Cacha Falls with the original, you know, French, oh, it's just hilarious, you know, and with just subtitles. So those are the five that I would recommend Moon uh, Unit for you to see. Go see it. Okay, and who else? Oh, Majun. I was going to mention her last night. I actually cut off, you know, I edited out the part where I mentioned her because I couldn't remember what was in my head? I had just written down her name. Well, I went back, looked at her videos, and I went, oh, yeah. Okay, she is, uh, she's campy, you know, and a little bit risky, you know, but uh, she reminds me, uh, she's got this one on Hitler or something, you know, and uh, she, it reminds me of something Laurie Anderson would do. I was, I'm a real big fan of Laurie Anderson's performance art, and uh, it was just, you should go over and look at this little Hitler thing that she did. It's really cute. And she uh, just, she's very interesting. I'd love to see more, you know, see what else she comes up with. And I went back and uh, I looked at that, that, I had favorited that guitar piece. It was If I Was Young Again by Haas Haas 777. And if you like really good guitar, <laughs> I mean, I mean, like old Gibson jazzy kind of feel to it, you know, um, one man, you know, and uh, but, uh, just if you want a relaxing moment of just listening to some good guitar and a really nice smooth, smooth guitar, you know, that uh, this guy, mm -hmm. oh yeah, he's right there. Okay, and that is it. That's all I'm going to do as far as that, and then I'm going to read. So if you don't like me reading, now is the time to exit the room. <laughs>